Gibbs. Mr. Morrissey. Here. Mr. Powers. Mr. Lynn. Here. Mr. Amos. Here. Mr. Schmidt. Here. Mr. Welper. Here. Motion for the agenda. Second. Motion to waive a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Have an agenda. Today's agenda is to take a look over um, a proposed budget. Uh, Mr. Powers, uh, Mr. Jacobs, let me know they wouldn't be here. I believe so, right? Yep. Yeah, so not in the audience. Um, do you want to start or you want? How do you want to do it? Thought you might want to give a speech first. No, no speeches right now, but um, basically. Somebody. Yeah. I, I come bearing gifts. No, you're standing to behind the me. You make sides me nervous. Of a <laughs> um, well. I can dive in if you wish. We can just dive in. Forget the philosophy. Okay. Well, good evening, everyone. We're a little later than we thought we would be, but we were still wrapping up some changes, and so I'm hoping there aren't a lot of misnumbering or typos on here, but I think we're all right. Mayor and I obviously have met with all the departments, some of them multiple times, and have worked hard to try to come up with a budget that will be acceptable to everyone in terms of both the taxes paid by individuals and the services provided by the city. So as, as we work through the mayor's option, I don't, Mayor, do you want me to walk through every line item or how do you want to handle this? Um, well, and, and also um, taking a look at council suggestions, kind of try to find some room in between of what people wanted to see and what they wanted to add or not add so kind of got us to this point we took a look at nine personnel items and some changes that could potentially impact um, staffing as well so um, yeah so do you, you want to go through everyone or, I'm it's, yeah. I'm happy to yeah okay so Mayor's thought process this year, we would try to focus on non-personnel changes first that we could make before we talked about staffing changes. Um, so we started out, we've had a lot of discussion about reducing travel expenses. That's something some council members wanted. So we, we are proposing a net reduction in travel, and we are only talking the general fund right now, of $33,450. One of the items suggested by the city clerk's office when we were asked to make reductions was that we would drop the city's membership in the National League of Cities and also that we would delay a portion of the city code recodification that we need to do, but we would delay that another year. The city attorney's office, we did reduce the outside legal services budget by a significant amount. We did reduce the safety committee expenses. They have, unfortunately, we've, we've never quite gotten the committee to be able to spend all their budget, and we maybe just can't afford to, so we're gonna reduce that slightly. Um, parking, we are reducing those expenses so that there is no change to the level they're at this year. Um, the airport, we are recommending bringing them down so that they're self-supporting and not drawing taxes from the general fund. We do have the leisure services staff reorganization included. And that does not affect the net general fund tax levy, but that's because we're suggesting moving 30,000 more in road use tax to the general fund to support that. Workers compensation, we are suggesting that we will use restricted fund balance for workers' compensation claims if we exceed the budgeted amount. So we're recommending 175,000 for that. Um, for the police department, we're recommending reducing their fuel expense by $20,000. It appears that budget is quite generous. And um, for the fire department, reducing their software expense by $3,000. 
on the next page in human rights for reducing various expenses by about $3,000 um, for MIS reducing expenses by 10729 for cultural and arts we're increasing their revenue by $9,700 based on um, past projections and what we see happening this year for the river loop event facilities we are increasing their net revenue by 5600 that that is a larger increase in revenue but also requires some additional part-time labor to service those events um, leisure services and parks we're increasing their net revenue by 5829 um, downtown maintenance we're reducing part-time labor by 1831 building expansions is an overall reduction in revenue of four thousand dollars there were just a couple of revenue line items that had very aggressive revenue estimates that it doesn't appear will be reached um, central garage <coughs> we're reducing their tax askings by ten thousand dollars planning we are reducing taxes by seventy thousand and that will be through sale of property city attorney's office we're reducing their reference materials budget by four thousand dollars the next item is leisure services increasing again an amount from the road use tax fund for the right-of-way mowing services that we provide and we still are not charging road use tax for a hundred percent of the eligible costs with that the top line on the next page gives you the total of that first set which is pretty much non-personnel items and that total reduction is five hundred and ninety seven thousand nine hundred and thirteen dollars which would bring the, the levy rate down to about seventeen seventy four then we looked at <coughs> items that affect personnel more and for the most part um, the next item would be the finance department and restructuring how we do some things which would be a reduction of twenty five thousand um, then we are recommending that we delay filling positions as they become vacant and that is for a number of the next line items um, we are also recommending that we reduce overtime by five percent that's twenty five thousand dollars across the general fund um, and leisure services we talked more about whoops about their <coughs> reorganization and we'll charge an additional 10,000 to the sports plex which will relieve the general fund that $10,000 because the sports plex is self-supporting um, police and fire we have another couple of delays in replacing positions leisure services we're going to try to identify an alternative source of funding for providing awards for all the youth sports participants MIS will reduce other professional services and clerk finance will reduce audit fees slightly and hope we can cover that and the last thing would be to reduce our contingency budget by 50,000 all those reductions total nine hundred and sixty seven thousand six hundred forty four dollars and that brings us down to a tax levy of about seventeen fifty seven but as we all know the rollback replacement that we currently receive from the state is based on the tax levy so because we've reduced the tax levy we will reduce that revenue source so i have to net that out of there it will that would bring our net tax levy to seventeen dollars point five nine three oh seven about a penny lower than last year that's that's really all I have to present so we're happy to entertain questions Michelle a number uh, item 34 how do you reduce audit fees I mean isn't that they, they charge us and we pay it right that, that is correct except um, we are charged for 
the grant portion of it, the single audit portion, and we, we may have to increase the fees charged to the departments that have the grants. That may be how we have to do that to make that happen. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Um, well, first I'd like to compliment, I don't know if it's you and Michelle or you and Michelle and the department heads, but uh, as we were talking last night, this is, this is what I think we call compromise. So I'm real pleased to see this. I've got some questions. I'm wondering on the uh, item number four, the city attorney, that $60,000, I mean, is that, is that based on anything? I mean, any, any identifiable quantitative measure? How, how do you come up with that $60,000? i am just curious. Well, when we, first of all, we had a restructuring uh, several years ago, and we kind of looked over the different costs that we've had for the last year or so. Um, and then try to estimate costs that we foresee in the future. Um, and that's what we based upon, based that number upon and, and talking about that. So I mean, on some things like, like the League, National League of Cities, if we drop that membership, I understand that's 6,800 right. bucks, that's pretty definable. But I mean, that, that 60,000 is not guaranteed by any means, correct? Based on past history, of the last several years, it should easily be achievable. If you know, we, we've had, we've used plenty of legal services in the last few years, but if we need to double the outside services, then this would not be able to be achieved. Would, but would excuse me, go ahead. I, I just think based on past performance, this this, we can make this work. Okay. And would these fees be what we typically would be dealing with on, on these various lawsuits that we've had the last couple of years, or is this a different different area of the legal um, department? Some of them are for the lawsuits. Some of them, you know, when you request new ordinances or ordinance amendments or just a whole variety of legal issues where we would consult with outside attorneys. Okay. Um, item... Number nine, that workman's compensation, you mentioned that um, you may use money out of the restricted fund balance. Yep. Is that, could you talk about that a little bit just to make sure I completely understand that? I mean, we've got that flexibility that we can dip into that when we want to, or could you we, talk about that a little bit? We have fund balance for workers' compensation claims, and it, actually it's a combined balance. You'll see in the audit, I believe it's running at about $3 million. Um, I never like to tap into those. I would like to put those away for that rainy day and leave them alone. But we, we, we have two things going on. We, we have a couple of claims this year that are kind of large. If those don't occur again, we may not even need to tap into the reserves. But if there is a problem, then that'll, we'll use the reserves. Okay. And then an item uh, 15, that river loop events. I, I want to make sure I understood that because that says increase net fees, but then you said uh, there would be some additional labor. So is this 5632, is that, is that including that potential additional labor or would right. that be? It has, we, the, rev, the increased revenue is more than that and then okay. we deducted what so we you think factored the labor that will in. be to support it. Gotcha. So that's okay. the net. Thank you. And then number 20 uh, planning um, I mean if we got that property identified that we're feeling pretty bold about that I seem to remember these conversations in previous years and I'm just wondering how those have panned out no Anderson community planning development director we do believe we have some properties identified to meet the goals I think we've met the goals 95% of the years um, for our budget, um, but we do have some specific properties out there that we believe will help us meet the goal as uh, shown. Okay. And then uh, this proposal does still include taking a half million dollars out of the reserve fund, is that correct? Yes. Right. Thank That's you. That's been in every proposal, right. unfortunately. <laughs> Michelle. Yes. Uh, what, in number 23, what does that mean? Department restructuring. What does that do to your two unfilled positions that were in the budget, proposed budget? It's 
probably going to be about 1.75 full-time equivalent positions. Um, I think everybody knows I was very fortunate to um, find Jim Sly. <laughs> He's been helping me, you know, very experienced CPA that's helping me on a part-time basis. We still need to fill one full-time and then hopefully um, some other part-time to make sure we get everything done. I, I would, I particularly would like to have more help in the fall because if I can get more help with the audit, it will ease the pressure on getting the audit finished and start the budget. And I know many of you want to do some things on the budget earlier. We, we tried to have a number of work sessions starting last April or May, I think, on various budget topics to try to engage some of the ways that we actually have to re change how we do business. So while we did have those work sessions every month or two, um, it talked about things like change orders. We had a couple, at least a couple on tax increment financing and some other things. Um, hopefully some of that, if, if I'm fortunate enough to find the right skill set, can help us with all those things. Okay. And when it says delay, uh, how long a delay? In general, most of these are calculated at approximately six months. It often takes that long for us to work through the internal hiring process anyway, so it may not. So in effect, it would be a year? No, six months. So we'd start looking and then with a realization that it takes about six months, so that's from the delay. time a pers From the time one employee leaves to the time we have another employee on staff, it's it's very typical that it's six months. So these, that's what we're. That's but does this expecting. does this delay the replacement or the request for the replacement? The from, replacement. So, so are you a gap. So we're talking about having a gap of six months. So one person leaves. Let's say July first, just for, and the we the next person can start the following January first. And I'm sorry, Mary, I didn't no, that's, interrupt. That's, that's almost the same example. I was going to give. Okay, and um, you're asking not to fill a library position at all. Twenty-five. Yes. Six. Twenty-five. Yes. Okay, and. Reduction in overtime for all departments, including police and fire? Yes. Okay, and? In that, on that one, um, we received a proposal of um, 10%, but um, <coughs> we kind of tried to go halfway in between and spread it out, so to make a, the best situation was fair. And the delays? In 27 and 28 would be the same thing, six and six? Yes. Yeah. And then with police, it would be six? Yes. And, and with fire, six? And is that fire delay, is that the safer grant? Or where is the safer grant position in this? The safer grant position is actually funded in this proposal. It is. So this would delay <coughs> replacement of somebody who's retiring correct something like that okay so that position would not go away it but still would be filled not under this proposal right okay correct and then under mis what does that reduced professional services what is that um, chris maybe can talk more about what he was hoping to do with that but you all remember that a few years ago we were using the water with schools to provide that service to us. When we initially brought that back in house, we left quite a chunk there for assistance from the school district during the transition and also to help going forward. Um, Chris has done an outstanding job and has not needed to tap into that very much over the past two years. So we are, we are estimating we could save a penny on the levy by reducing that. And that, that certainly does not wipe it out. There's still some there that can be used <coughs> as he needs it. Thanks, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. So, Michelle, we would, this is basically option six. 
within a few dollars each. I mean, for, for the increases in residential, we're going to be 2.3%. Pretty close. Okay. So those numbers that I see across that are generally yeah. what we're talking about. Yes, it would be very close. I, Sorry I didn't have time to run those numbers or I would have had that for you tonight too for, with the exact rate. But it's, it's very, very close. Are you, are you done, Tom? Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, uh, so Michelle, going back to that, and I know Councilman Morrissey was asking about this, but item 26 at all general funds over time. What were you saying about police and was there a discussion about police and fire specifically in there? I was looking at something else. I mean, That's that, just no, that, part of that. that right. That okay. description says all general fund departments reduce five percent. Okay. Or twenty five. It doesn't I don't know that it's exactly what it will be, but all they right. I believe the mayor's intent at this time is to probably affect all departments, at least the tax funded portion of their overtime. The police department in particular um, has a number of grants that are funded with overtime, so I pulled those out because they wouldn't be affected by this. Well, and what I was wondering, that just kind of reminded me that we've talked over the last few years about specifically with, with police and I think with fire to a lesser degree, uh, some of the events we have, having that being funded by the event promoters, uh, sponsors, that type of thing, some of them that are now doing pretty well. Is that, has that been done? I, I've kind of lost track of that, and we didn't talk about that. Or I, don't, I think I might have been out of town when we did the police budget that day. <clears throat> Dan Trollica, Chief of Police, it has been done. When they request security, we make them pay the employees directly. Gotcha. Okay. Some services we offer, depending on the event, because sure. we're not always comparing. Not all events are the same. Right. Absolutely. So. Okay. Thank you. On the fire side, Petrio Chief Fire Services. On the fire side, if uh, an event wants a dedicated ambulance, we recently had an MMA event here in town by uh, sanctions they need to have an ambulance there and so we take one out of service put it there and we charge a hundred dollars an hour for it okay so we've kind of firmed that up if we have an event uh, we have a um, Saturday night hockey game they requested an ambulance there to be there kind of as PR um, we don't charge for that because they're in service and they can leave gotcha okay thank you and then Michelle, um, and I know Councilman Morrissey talked about this too, item 31 uh, in fire again. So that delaying the, the one firefighter, does the proposed budget includes the safer grant position that we had talked about not extending, but that's part of the budget that we are going to extend that, correct? Okay, the, the original? Of the, of the original you can proposed look at a budget. a number of ways. This proposal really does not recommend eliminating any fire positions. It does say that it will take six months to fill one retiree position. Okay. Or maybe it takes two months apiece to fill several attempts. I, you know. So you could also, you could choose to say that you're not gonna fill the safer position instead of delaying this replacement. But then also in, in, I think, the original mayor's proposal, if we want to call it that, didn't that include two additional firefighters, or was that just proposed and that was not part of the 17999? That, oh, no, that was not part of 17999. That was not. That, that was, was, that, that that was, was when we, when, we, um, when different council members gave options. So that gotcha. Was, okay. So it was two plus the safer. Um, and then there was, what else? It was two plus the safer? Yeah. The, yeah, safe, the safer the position. That was somebody else's. Not that wasn't yeah, what I was talking about. Okay, so that wasn't in the 1799. Well, this is the first mayor's no, proposal no. you've seen right now. Okay. In the 1799, which was the additional needs request primarily from department heads, the fire safer position funding the balance of that was included in the 1799. Right. It's still in the mayor's proposal, okay. but there is a delay in hiring. Okay, but those those other two positions are not part they of. They were never no. in okay. anything other than in the suggestions that we discussed at last night's work session. Gotcha. And then one final question for now. 
uh, culture and arts. Can you can you tell me specifically what those fees are, or do you know that additional ten grand? Uh, I think I might need to go downstairs and get my book <laughs> to answer that. Well, they just have a couple revenue lines that, if you look at it, you can see that in fiscal sixteen and probably year to date in seventeen, they're receiving more than what the budget was. So we believe they're going to continue to receive that and can be increased. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Thank you. And I'm, I apologize. I don't remember the exact no, one. No, it's been like a month ago. <laughs> Michelle, I for, also forgot to ask. Um, this includes the central garage position. The yes. additional it does because yes. So I probably sh I apologize. I should have started out talking about that. I s we started from the additional needs budget that we talked about and kind of worked our way down. So because that position was in the additional needs budget and you don't see it coming out, it's still there. Mayor has a question, I can tell. <laughs> um, there may be one other change. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if I see it on here. Um, and that was um, for the um, communications person to add 10 hours um, to that. Yes, I, that was on, so, that's been on several sheets. I think somehow so I, I didn't may know not have it got was. it transferred on here and I'm sorry about that. I don't, I'm not si seeing it right now either. Do we know if it's included overall? I can't remember. <laughs> So tomorrow, I suspect it is not right now. I'll have to verify that. So that may be a change, you a tweak we make. So tomorrow for the meeting on Thursday, we need to get a number to the courier, right? To have it posted. We don't. So what do we need to have? I'm not. I mean, okay. So we're good. It's just, just for discussion. I mean, you can. It should add, that would add about a penny. And I apologize. That that's totally my mistake. It, I have too many lists of adjustments going right There's now. Apparently, I did. I don't think I got that one on here. I meant to, but I don't see it now. And one of the one of the um, questions I had gotten from um, one council member off grid was um, trying to see what else can be done. So I went back to department heads when uh, about a couple weeks ago and asked for. Uh, some additional areas they may see and we got a few suggestions which are represented in here as well so um, after we had the initial uh, baseline went back and asked again so um, try to take what council gave and <coughs> find some some intermediary place to meet um, so pretty much almost every uh, department is impacted in some way or another but any other questions? Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. That, um, that uh, communications director, she was originally hired for 10 hours, I thought. Then it went at 19. Now it's at 29. I never said 10 hours. It was, um, was it 19, 19, 19 hours or less? Right. It was never, never 10. Yeah. <coughs> and now that she's been here, we just have a longer list for finding more and more things we would like her to help us with yeah. getting the positive messages out and and one one area is that every department every department has pretty much um, utilized the services as well so it was between um, no less than 10 other questions mr. mayor you um, still got the floor if you want you kind of not you but you kind of hit the airport pretty hard here. I don't think so. We didn't reduce anything. There, there was no other department that additional. requested additional items in that amount that were kind of extra things. And I actually increased their base so that they would use all the revenue they're projecting from originally. So I, I don't, I feel pretty comfortable with what they have. And there was an additional request that will be added of, uh, what, a couple Planning hundred thousand dollars. Right. Uh, 
to do some work that needs to, what we know that needs to be done that they've been advocating for our CIP as well. <coughs> Mr. Morrissey. Well, uh, Mr. Mayor, where does Cedar Bend Humane Society fit into this? Where They're actually funded out of the sanitation fund, which we haven't focused on much okay. at this point. But the, the other question I have was with Council Option A, I, uh, which is not even in all related to the mayor's budget, but um, I was just wondering if uh, removing some of those things as a compromise, what that would result in, such as uh, in number two, removal of that amount, um, just keeping the safer grant, removing the other two fire positions, um, removing the uh, possible possibility of the 13,000 for the art culture arts uh, what that would would do as far as the amount in uh, that budget which would include the, the uh, franchise the quarter of a cent franchise uh, fee. I don't have that right now we want to take a break I'll figure it out or I we can discuss it after the meeting discuss it after the meeting or tomorrow or okay I'll get it to you okay thank you